peach expert or a daisy expert. You know, I don't. I, I mean, don't he's the peach been playing from me for. He's been playing peach <laughs> way back. I really? mean, he used to be one of the best peach players in the world back in Smash Four. Wow, was Peach? I don't know much about Peach in Smash Four. Peach was, was the character that everyone was just like, this character had hidden potential. In the year 2099, Peach <laughs> will be one of the, will be like a top six, top ten character, For maybe top ten. There were DLC here, in that game. And float so. cancel, uh, float cancel combos. Oh, that's a shame. I think he might have thought he would snap to ledge with that. He was just a little too low. The big thing that Peach had back then, actually, I think, was the footstool combos. Ah, which were like combos, yes. Super d duper hard to do. Wow, that's such an interesting option. Immediately float to up air when you're hanging from ledge. Well, here's the thing. One of the really strong parts to Noku's gameplay is his ledge trapping. And you know that Ling Ling knows it because he's going for really unconventional, yeah. really tricky options at the ledge that Noku just isn't quite ready for. Oh, up -y. Great job he's recognizing per yeah, that. Yeah, perfect spacing. Yeah, Ling Ling's. Ling Ling's carrying himself really well in this match so far. Honestly, he's been playing fantastically tonight. I could actually just see him taking the whole tournament. And Noku is one of the few people at this point that can stand in his way. And things are not looking so great wow. for him. That's another stock. He is down three stocks that was a to one. Turnaround float cancel back air that he just executed in like tenth of a second. I, it's crazy. It's crazy what these Peach Mains are capable of. Wow, and he's got these low percent combos that just carry him, carry him right to the mid percents where he can get some early kills if he can get good ledge guards. Because Peach's ledge guarding game is is amazing. Now Noku really needs to clean out this stock soon, or else he's just he's just looking completely <laughs> completely dead in the water. I don't know. I think Noku might have to start thinking about game two already. <laughs> You know, I, I never, I never like to say it, but I think at this point, Lingling Ling just has such a solid read of what he's doing. Yeah, and that's, that's it. Three that stops. That's just so clean. Lingling Ling just has, has the responses that he needs to have at all points. Peach's movement options are so difficult to, to react to and predict compared to literally every other character in the cast. I will say, however, in that matchup, it felt like Lingling Ling didn't need to move that much. He wasn't doing like all the crazy, like you know, yeah. being very careful with his float heights and barely micro spacing. No, he was kind of more in Noku's face. He was pushing buttons. He was pressuring him at the ledge. That felt yeah, like more ledge. of a pressure game as opposed to a movement and baiting game. Like if you compare it to uh, uh, Ling Ling versus Bobo earlier, in that one he was totally like, I am going to move in these very interesting, intricate ways that only Peach can do. Yeah. This time around, he's more taking a. Uh, just an aggressive approach to the matchup. Yeah, it seemed like the ledge, like you could really see that when Noku was on ledge, he was getting punished and reset on ledge a lot. Whereas when Ling Ling was on ledge, he was managing to find his way on stage and get back to neutral more frequently. Oh yeah, the disadvantages uh, were just not comparable. Yeah, he, he just knows how to throw out so many hitboxes. Oh, face. he's got a stitch face. What's he gonna Noku do with realizes it? realizes it. Now earlier we actually saw him. He's gonna catch it again. Yeah, I, I knew. Jump. As soon okay. as he throw, every time a Peach Main has a Stitch Face, I just know it's gonna get recaught. What's happening? Where's it? Okay. <laughs> that was good. To throw out a hitbox to contest the turnip because. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that might be a B. Oh. I don't know if that was he, a bit of a missed angle or whether he just wasn't. I think he needed confident. to read the DI and he might have just read it wrong. Um, yeah, I think yeah, he might have caught him if he if he did the outward outward angle that B. Wow, yeah, going really low. Yeah, He's got to jump. jump, though, so he should be fine. Yeah. yeah, that was so smart. Knowing that at that point, what uh, Noku's really looking for more than anything else is the down air. Right, and he can he can just force him to, to pull the trigger on it sooner in anticipation of him going to the ledge uh, so that he can wait it out and find a safe opening to get to the ledge, which he did. As you can see, whenever, whenever Ling Ling gets on ledge, he just manages to get up and get back to neutral so smoothly and so quickly. I expect him to throw the turnip down there. Now, I, I kind of, I do agree with Charizard here, but if you notice, just Ling Ling has locked him down. He is stuck in one place constantly. The weak back air does not finish him off, but at this point, the slightest love tap from, uh, yeah, Ling Ling will do it. And yeah. back air is more than just a love tap. That is a brutal hitbox on a move. It seems like Ling Ling has good reads on him. Uh, maybe, like, something that I always think about at, at high level play is. You know, you don't want to do the same option with the ledge, right? But then if you're a high-level player, your opponent knows that you're smart enough to not do the same option every time. 
So they think you're going to roll when you neutral got off first time. But then the highest level option becomes maybe doing the same one again. I know that you know that I know exactly. that you know. Exactly. And that, that game is really interesting uh, when with players of this caliber. And I think maybe Ling Ling is getting good reads on him Ooh. because he knows he's going to mix it up. Oh, wow. That was actually a great recovery from Noku. That and turn up almost killed him. still able to punish it, despite it being a really good recovery. It's crazy. The lingering hitbox on her booty, her donk, is so active. <laughs> Listen, I like a woman with an active donk. Daisy is thickums, and that booty will clap you and knock <laughs> you off the stage. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if he wanted that up smash thing. He's probably looking more for an up air. At this point, oh, okay. That was great recovery. Yeah, recovering from high with the Vine Whip. Noku caught the roll in. The, uh, they call it the Noku special when you charge Ivysaur F smash at ledge because it covers so many options. All right, Noku doing actually able to uh, continue these juggles. And that's something that, for the most part, Ling Ling, it feels like, has been able to get around. Oh. Daisy, see, Daisy has so many good options to get up from ledge because she can jump back and uh, and float back on stage and throw out an aerial. And Ling Ling is just so aware of all of his options. Most characters have, what, four or five options to get up from ledge. Peach, like 20. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, the one thing is that when she is floating, she cannot air dodge. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know that. I believe it's still the case in this game. If not, please... Uh, you know, tweet at but me. But she can I'm just drop the butthole. float, right? She can drop the float sort of any time. Yes, she can drop the float, but like it, you can't just air dodge. You have to drop the float and then uh, air dodge. I wonder how many frames that takes. <laughs> oh, he's pulling out the cell phone. Oh, no, he's not. I thought you were pulling out the cell phone. <laughs> nah, I could have got a hammer. Hasn't gotten all the character details yet. Uh, I don't okay. know if they have Peach yet. Yeah, that would be like, that's some, that's some specific, specific info right there. All right, he's got him to mid percent with Squirtle combos, executing the standard game plan. Wow, if he'd gotten the tipper, that would have right, been it. Yeah, that was a great early kill. Oh, oh, and he got the early kill there. Total yep. turnaround from Peach, games one and two. That high up with the umbrella already active is. Uh, <gasps> yeah, that'll. Is he dead? No, oh, he yeah, wasn't not, able to not get. Not much knockback on that. He and he didn't follow up because I, I think he might have been able to get him if uh, Noku panicked and and snapped right to ledge, but Noku played it calm and, and hung there for a second. Yeah, these are, okay, so now we're actually in the opposite of what we saw before. Noku is the one who's making it real. It's, just, it's very easy for him to get off the ledge. And Ling Ling is the one where once wow, he gets grabber. hit once, it feels like he's just taken for an awful tour. Wow, Ooh. that was so clever. He used the upbeat armor through that. And that was like perfect spacing. If, if Ling Ling was any further, it probably wouldn't have connected. Especially because like normally Peach's pressure game is built around being safe on shield. But wow, just like that with Fly Super there. Armor, it's not safe on Super Armor, you yeah, know? Exactly. <clears throat> yeah, maybe Charizard is the right is the right character to f to focus on in this matchup. So I will say that one thing is that remember before how you know overall Ling Ling was being pretty aggressive uh, against Noku's characters. The exception is against Charizard. When he's up against Charizard, he realizes that he needs to be more tricky with his movement, and that's when he starts being more. Cr wow, and that's it. Wow, all right. That wow, was just what a clean set. What a clean game from Noku. Right. Avoiding but, the shutout. <laughs> but let's that that might be like a changing of the tides or it might be an anomaly. We'll see how this game 4 goes because I still think that Ling Ling was doing really well game 1 and 2 and he could absolutely get back to that in game 4. The onus yeah. is on Noku to keep that momentum to really make sure that whatever worked for him in that game continues to work for him for the rest of the set because he only has he can't drop another game. He drops right. another game, he's knocked into loser's back. Yep. He faces the prospect of coming back and uh, <laughs> facing the same matchup, perhaps, if he makes it back into Grands. And if he, he's with two sets at that point. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody yeah. wants to win two sets against Ling. I hey, mean, everyone wants to win Peach two sets against Ling Ling, but nobody wants to have to win two sets against Ling I assume Ling. if you're a Peach player, fatigue's got to set in on having to think that much. So maybe he'll get an advantage from that. <laughs> Yeah, Peach combos without a turn up, I guess, not not quite as potent as ones when she's holding the turn up. And perhaps on the light character, also not as uh, not as strong, because he was only able to get 25% um, off that first conversion. 
I mean, yeah. Oh, did you see the spacing on that? Yeah, he just he just narrowly avoided Squirtle's side B with draw and was able to punish it. All right, this is seeing a bit more of a uh, hearkening back to those games one and two. Noku not really able to get off the ledge. Yeah. I think that, uh, okay, I think that Ling Ling in game, th uh, game three was way more eager to go off stage. This time around, he recognizes, no, what really helped me out in that game one and two was the ledge trapping. So that's what he's focusing yeah. on more this time. It could be that Charizard is less less easily ledge trapped than Ivysaur. Uh, Ivysaur I mean, has, has to go right to the ledge. He, as you saw, he recovered with Flare Blitz at one point here to get straight onto the stage and avoid the ledge entirely, which surviving. I think might be a smart play here. Ling Ling not punishing the roll and getting thrown off stage himself now, so... Wow, great what attack! Tech. What an amazing okay, tech. I'm I think that right now, up throw underneath the platform will... An up throw, throw at yeah. the side! It's possible he was DIing that wrong. He might have been DIing for uh, for up throw. That's a common You should never do that. Well, the thing is that up throw is so reactable. Yeah, that's that true. That you should always be DIing for the faster throw. That's true. That That is a very insightful comment. I had never thought about that before. That makes, makes perfect sense. Uh, holding down on the up B to catch him. That was very clever. Yeah, Ling Ling's edge game is, is just so strong. This is the tightest game we've had so far. Oh, yeah. Every game, honestly, has been a blowout. But this time around, yeah, you can see they are neck and neck in percent. I think that was a winky face. Yeah, that was a winky face. I think it's just a 20% win in him. Oh, he got another early stock with the up B. That's, That's great. Huge. If he can seal this one out again with a with a, with a a clutch down air or another, another early stock like that, that'll bode really well for him and bring it to a game five. Good catch. Catching is an underrated skill in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but very important. Not only that, Noku, he actually used to play Diddy Kong back in Smash 4, yeah. so he knows how to work with an item. Yeah. He probably isn't really going to, but he has a potential possibly where if he gets a turn up, he might do some Z-drop shenanigans, you know? I always wonder, like, should the best player in the world know how to do things like combo with Peach's turnips and convert off Snake's grenades, even if it's not their character, you know, just in case the situation comes up? Those are two very meta-relevant characters, so I would say yes. Oh, wow! So it's such little end lag on her side B for how long it stays out. I would have thought that uh, Noku's F Smash would hit right there. Another great catch. This is so tight. Anyone, a, a good, a good hit from either player could seal the stock. <gasps> that should be it, though. Up throw on that platform. Oof. Even with good yeah, Noku yeah, yeah. doing a bit of a fist pump. He moves on to game five. Pokemon, yeah, wow, this is this is great. This is a hype set. He might reverse three O M. Let me see if uh, we can get some confirmation on something. <laughs> Username says Noku's back, baby. I mean, he's recently minted now 20 year old Noku. <laughs> yes, we had cake. <laughs> we had ice cream cake. Ooh. <laughs> like every six year old birthday party. Ice cream cake is amazing. Ice cream cake is its too good for this sinful earth. Realistically, it's just ice cream. <laughs> it's just square no, it's ice not. cream. It's not. I don't know what they do to that ice cream. I don't know what drugs they inject into that cake, but it is not normal ice cream. Get some cream. chocolate crunchies in there maybe sometimes. Yeah, That's good stuff. Uh, there's something about ice cream cake that just tran is transcendent, man. I, I, can, I only eat it once every two years because, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. That's the second time I've seen him hold B on someone's shield. And once the shield gets too small, it just stops connecting, which is interesting. Uh, no, Ling Ling has switched to the Peach. Oh, he's got a stitch, and he recaught it after hitting with it. God, that situation is so scary. And he starts off. Honestly, being at zero against the stitch is even scarier. Because yeah. stitch doesn't really kill in this game. But oh. look at that one hit that's 35%. Yeah, I think he meant to re-grab it too, but he, he just slightly missed it. Yo, what percent was he? That was an amazing yeah, was finisher great. from Noku, keeping him alive in this game five. Otherwise, this it absolutely could have just slipped away from him. Yeah, and I mean, the, the thing about I Ivysaur's dare is so good if it hits Peach. Because it will kill her at most percents, I think, from ledge. Yeah, so, so he's Peach, never out of it, you know? 
Peach, even with a jump, she doesn't have the greatest vertical recovery. Yeah. It's more her ho horizontally where she really excels. But Right, and her ability to mix up her timing on when she snaps to ledge and stuff like that. But yeah, if she's just too far down, she's too far down. Not much to be done about it. All right. Good getup attack. That's good awareness. And up smash to do even more damage here. But he is so close to death. Neutral air is not going to be enough for him to actually finish him off, which means that he's at 171. He can take a stock here realistically, wow. but some questionable DI on the dash attack. Yeah. Noku has to start with zero damage on him. It's going to be that much harder to actually take a stock here, he's and he gets hit once. Already. He could just die. Not die, but take like 60, 70 percent. Wow, great air dodge from uh, from Ling Ling, but wow, Noku was really able to punish it. From Noku. <gasps> Where you go, bud? Noku has He's got him at the ledge, and we know how much Ling Ling is able to punish him at the ledge. But Noku able to get up on stage and avoid his wrath. Going for the hard read on the roll. Ooh, oh, by the wow. Back out the oh, down just, bar air. just barely too high to catch her shield. And by switching to Charizard, he's made himself a much bigger target. He needs to take this stock, otherwise, mm, yeah, even now it might be too late. Bigger target, but much more survivability than the other two characters. Man, Peach dash attack just doesn't seem like it should be a kill move, but it is. Oh, yeah, he wants that back wow. air once again. But yeah. Ling Ling now so aware yeah. of it. That might not do it. it. Yeah. That was a great set from, from both players.